will say the cold start in this thing is wicked. Let's take it for a drive. up to hopefully save a little bit of binaural audio. I've noticed a little bit of wind buffeting, especially in your upper hair regions in this Corvette this week, but it's nothing any different than uh, how Corvette T-tops have been in the past. surprisingly hard on these all seasons it's pretty good put the roof up here too show you guys what this looks like pretty simple procedure just the reverse of taking it off we'll watch Charlie do this just to show how easy it is first time too yeah Surprisingly light. So I'm gonna guess we want to go back first. Yep. Slide it in there, push it down. And should be some levers, I assume. Yeah, there's two on the front, one on the back, just like every other Corvette. Remarkably easy. Yeah, it's super simple. Maybe. It's not going anywhere. It's not so. going anywhere. Now we can actually hear this thing, what it sounds like. It is fun driving this with a top down though, but a lot less exciting to watch on video than it is to experience in real life. So we've got it in sport mode. Let's try manual shifting for a minute. sounds in the upper registers. It definitely doesn't have that same exotic high-strung V8 sound that the C7 had, but it's pretty good. I mean, you've got a, a decent red line here. is so composed over bumps. There is a little bit of understeer on throttle, but you can manage it by lifting off. And there's actually a pretty sharp amount of turn in for a mid-engine car. dynamics on this are fantastic. 
I can't help but feel it is a little bit numb from the steering to the just the how good the car is you do lose a little bit of that visceral experience that you had in the C7 Corvette and that I was kind of hoping for in the C8 but again we're, we're still waiting for the Grand Sport we're still waiting for the more aggressive versions and I'm sure those will bring that into uh, those future vehicles so for launch control, you have to have traction control in competitive mode. It's a two-stage button press. Push the brake down hard. I'll rev to 3,500 RPM, and then you're off. And you get much more aggressive shifts on the launch control start than you would normally. No loss in power. clutch is good. It's about as responsive as you would want it to be. It may lack some of the precision and snappiness of a Porsche PDK, but it's darn close. And for a first effort from GM, it's really, really good. Reserve and self control when driving this car because it is, it is fast. Again, very smooth, very comfortable not as aggressive and sporting as I would like, but I'm sure we'll get there in future Corvette versions. This is a really nice Grand Tour, a very, very enjoyable cruiser. The enjoyment factor in this Corvette really comes from the overall experience in the car. It's not necessarily as enjoyable to drive and to hustle and push as I was hoping, but that's not to say it isn't fun to drive. This is a really refined Corvette, and that shows in its design and its interior material quality. Sure, there are a couple little things here. The stitching on this is a little bit wonky. There's a gap here that looks a little bit funny. But overall, the quality behind this build is just, it's fantastic. It's another level for GM. You get a lot of enjoyment the presence and the, the uh, curb appeal of this car. It gets a ton of attention on the road. Everyone is watching, everyone is looking. And it just feels special when you get into it and when you look at it. this front windscreen makes me feel like I'm driving a supercar. And although this may not have that raw, fizzy, visceral feeling of some supercars, the drama and a little bit of that specialness is still there.
exhaust on this Corvette, it's pretty tame. Um, if you're gonna want something that's louder, I wouldn't even bother and I'd go with an aftermarket system or a custom exhaust. Or, alternatively, something that a lot of Corvette owners do is you just get a set of headers and uh, free up some exhaust flow while at the same time getting the noise when you want it when the valve is open, but when the valve is closed, it becomes quiet and pretty daily driver friendly. guys well that gives you a little bit of an idea what the Corvettes like to drive on a back road we'll be doing a full review on this and of course the Mustang we're testing this week too thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video take care